Where'd those other hands yeah, come from? Yeah, glory hole. Glory hole? Yeah. So what happened? Just stick Dude, what are you, new? It's a, it's a hole. You put your cock in. You don't know if it's a man or woman. It feels good. That's it. It could be a fucking goat. That's you just get it. It's just yeah, glory, baby. Though. It's all what? glory. Our guest, our first guest on episode 13. Uh, I want to introduce uh, Carl, who uh, is... Uh, f- um, I guess, are you the owner? Yes. You're the I owner am. of Need a Massage. Yes. That, uh, that's location is uh, King at Sherburn? Correct. 255. Nice. 255 uh, King Street, just right beside uh, Sherburn. Now what, now, what is the most common thing when people come to you? And uh, Is it lower back problems or is it? Uh, Nine out of ten, shoulders, neck, everybody in the world. And it all stems from, if you think about everything we do, Arms and head is forward. Everything we're doing is in front of us. Nothing's behind us. So all the muscles in the back are getting overstretched. Right. Because they're overstretched, they're getting weak. And the only way the body knows how to tell you through its language is to cause tension, headaches, pain. And this is the body's way of saying straighten the fuck out. And body right. language. Yeah. Is it, you mean straighten out the, like way we, the way we walk or the way we work? Everything. Yeah? Okay. Everything. Like, uh, think about riding your bike, arms forward. Eating, arms forward. Reading, right. arms forward. Computer. So, yeah. So there's other factors. There's dehydration. Right. We're drinking way too much coffee, way right. too much sugar, sweets, stuff like that. Not enough water. Right. So first thing, once you get dehydrated, the circulation in your body isn't flowing properly, which means you get tension a lot easier. In the first place, that's going to get the tension is the weakest area on the body, which tends to be the upper back. Now, now, isn't the human body mostly 90% water? Like, why do I need more water in it? Mm. What? Well, we tend to get, <laughs> as you get older, you dehydrate more and more. Right. And you lose water in between your spine in the intervertebral disc. So when you wake up in the morning, you're actually, some, some people, up to an inch taller than by the end of the day. So, so. Carl, how did you get into um, massage? I, my whole life, I worked with my hands. I did carpentry. I did a little bit of welding, auto work. Auto mechanics. I had my own business painting houses. Right. So I've always been using my hands. That's a hard job, man. Yeah, it sucked ass. That's yeah. why I had to get the hell out <laughs> of it, man. Too much dust. What's much harder paint. on your hands, painting or massage? Because massage... Massage. Got, yeah. The average therapist lasts four years. Yeah. Really? So, yeah. Wow. So it's kind of... It's a gamble to go into the business because it's two years hmm. full-time education. I'm not saying that therapists last four years. That's just the stats. But 80% of RMTs in Ontario have it as a second job rather than a full time. <laughs> Interesting. Are there big cases of uh, carpal tunnel syndrome amongst Carpal them? tunnel, tendonitis, all mm-hmm. the inflammation overuse syndromes. But now the uh, website, uh, if people yes. are interested in uh, neededmassage.com. Neededmassage.com. Yay. I want to thank you, Darren Frost, for Yay. being here today. Hi, Darren. Yeah. How are you, Darren? I'm good, you know? <laughs> good news. Okay. It's good. It's good to be here. <laughs> Actually, I also want to thank Boyd for coming in uh, unannounced and uh, giving us all... Uh, very peculiar Alcohol slurpees. Soaps. I thought they were booze. There was booze in them, wasn't there? Uh, There's I, booze in them. I thought there was uh, marijuana in them or something. There's got to be oh something. God, I, I hope not. not. I've never done a single drug in my entire life. Yeah. Are you serious? I'm serious. So if he just gave me some with something in it, that's not good. Have oh, you ever not, drank you're not, alcohol? You're not, you're not. Alcohol, yes, but never a single like pot or any right. kind of uh, illicit drug. Just you just didn't have no desire. Uh, you know, a lot of shit happened in my younger years with my sister. She got fucked up on drugs. Okay. It was like a, you know, after school special kind of thing, seeing it all the time. So, mm-hmm. you know, which people are surprised when they see my act. They think I'm a coke junkie or you know take drugs to calm down. But I no, I've never. Yeah, acid or mushrooms. I've never taken a single drug ever. Well, what, 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 Until Coke? today. And the Canadian Comedy Awards. I know. It's never going to change. I know. You know, no one's going to stand on a burning... I'm nominated for Best I know then. you are. Well, uh, how, how many years have wrong. you been doing stand-up and that you're Best Newcomer? It's which wrong. Uh, eight years. Yeah, Best Newcomer. Thanks it's for wrong. coming out. You're headlining now. You're not a newcomer. Sam Easton is not a newcomer. Well, you know, yeah. yeah, I don't care. It's going to help you get your uh, your 01. That's fine. I get it. And you go to the party and get fucking hammered on someone else's dime. I get it. I still care about the art of stand-up comedy too much. That their heart is in the right place. They want to ha- they want to reward people, but the execution is fucking wrong. 